The early hours of September 2nd brought terror to the heart of Ukraine's capital as a volley of Russian missiles rained down on Kyiv, sparking fires, demolishing infrastructure, and stoking the fears of civilians already on edge from months of war. The assault, which commenced around 5.31 a.m. local time, according to the residents, left a grim path of devastation across several districts in the city. Elena Wave, a Ukrainian lawyer, was among the countless residents who experienced the attack firsthand. A missile whizzed over her home, a moment of sheer panic that she later recounted on social media. A ballistic missile just flew over my house. I will never forget this whistling sound. She wrote, echoing the anxiety that now permeates daily life in Kyiv. The damage was extensive. In the Sviatoshin district, missile debris ignited four cars and struck a warehouse. Fires were also reported in the Holosevsky and Shevchenkivsky districts, where non-residential buildings bore the brunt of the bombardment. Kyiv's mayor, Vitaly Klitschko, confirmed that emergency services were grappling with multiple incidents across the city. Russia launched a missile attack on Kiev. Emergency services operate in Sviatoshinsky, Golosievsky, and Shevchenkivsky districts. At 6.25, two adults came to the doctors for help. One of them was hospitalized. So, according to previous information in the Sviatoshinsky district, in one place, four cars were on fire, and soon they were liquidated. In addition, in the Sviatoshinsky district, there was a fire in two surface non-living creatures. The mafia near the Sviatoshin metro station has been damaged, as well as the windows of the former metro station. The station is working. According to the Air Force, Russia fired several groups of cruise missiles, accompanied by ballistic missile launches and a few drones, targeting Kyiv. While Kyiv suffers under the relentless pressure of war, the repercussions of the conflict are also being felt across the border in Russia. In the western Russian city of Kursk, the administrative center of the Kursk region, thousands of people have sought refuge after fleeing the violence along the border with Ukraine. Since Ukrainian armed forces invaded the region on August 6th, the city has become a temporary haven for those escaping the escalating conflict. As of August 22nd, a staggering 133,190 people have been evacuated from the Kursk region, according to the region's acting governor, Alexei Smirnov. Many of these evacuees left with nothing more than the clothes on their backs, forced to adapt to life in makeshift shelters scattered throughout the city. In a recreational park on the outskirts of Kursk, a mobile medical truck offers vital healthcare services to those in need, while evacuees hang clothes on lines strung between trees. Despite the chaos, the children try to hold onto a semblance of normalcy, playing in the shadow of the violence they narrowly escaped. 